everyone welcome back to another video and welcome to the first video in my new trip series i'm so excited to be bringing you guys along with me and to kick off this series i'm going to be showing you all the outfits that i will be wearing and packing um, and then the next video will be my packing video and then we will get right on into the trip vlogs so lots of fun content coming up so make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that so i'm sorry for the plain face today i intentionally did not want to wear makeup because i will be trying on all of my outfits and i feel like wearing makeup and like taking clothes on and off would just get my makeup everywhere would get makeup all over my clean clothes so wanted to avoid that so i do apologize also i did get my hair done today so much much darker so i feel like i look a little bit crazy because i'm so pale my hair is so dark but anyway this is a hosted trip with magic with Liv. we just rented this like giant house and she's going to be giving us all a class on how to grow our social media accounts and how to pose for pictures we have a complete itinerary you know start to finish of this entire trip we have two photo shoots planned for each day in each park and then we also have like one comfy outfit for like the middle of the day so basically we have a morning photo shoot comfy midday outfit and then another photo shoot at night so basically i have three outfits for each day our break day we're going to disney springs for dinner we're going to paddlefish so we're all kind of wearing dresses for that so yeah i think i have like 30 outfits and then pjs i still have to pack like literally everything i just have all my clothes here because i wanted to wait until i filmed this video without further ado let's get into the itinerary let's get into the outfits and yeah let's start off this trip series okay so our first day is saturday so everyone is kind of flying in at different times i'm flying in at like 4 p.m on saturday so we just have that night which i will probably just wear my airport outfit because we don't need outfit changes for that day but the hotel that we're staying at is in the airport and they have a rooftop pool so i kind of have a feeling we may be checking that out so i think what i'm going to do is pack like all of my like first night and first day outfits in my backpack since we'll be in the hotel in the airport and then all of my other outfits will go in my luggage so that way when we get to the airbnb the next day that stuff will be separate and i don't have to like go searching through my luggage to get what i need in that very first night in the hotel so yeah i'm thinking stay in the airport outfit potentially put on a bathing suit if we do end up going swimming on saturday night and then just my first pair of pjs and then my outfits for the next day which is sunday so that is everyone's official first day everyone that didn't fly in saturday will be flying in on sunday we do have breakfast reservations at ohana which i'm so excited for because i've never done that before i did ohana dinner if you haven't seen that video i will link it up above so we did that back in december and i really really loved it so i have a feeling i will definitely love the breakfast as well and this time i really wanted to do a stitch themed outfit so yeah i'm getting ahead of myself let me show you the airport outfit first and then we'll get into Sundays. So everything that's like a basic tee, I am just going to just show you because if it's just a tee and biker shorts, I feel like you don't really need to see it on me. You can kind of just see the vision and you'll see it on me in all of my content that I'll be getting. But my airport fit is just this Princess Eras tee from Fitting Pieces & Co. So this just has a bunch of princesses on here. It's just a light pink color, says Princess Eras Tour. And then the back has all of the princesses and their movie release date, which I think that this is so cute. I really debated wearing this to Magic Kingdom as like my comfy day outfit um, after our princess photos, but I decided to wear something else and you'll see what that is and you'll see why I chose that instead. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this on the plane there and also on the plane ride home because I plan on doing laundry on our break day just to kind of minimize my outfits just a little bit because we have so many outfits and so many photo shoots so i kind of want to make it a little bit lighter in my suitcase so i actually have room for souvenirs so yeah this with some black biker shorts is going to be the move for the airport i may potentially wear sweatpants like maybe the ones that i'm already wearing but probably not because it's gonna be like i think 70 or like mid 70s here on saturday and i'm usually pretty hot like all the time i know i can get cold a little bit on the plane but i feel like i can just suck it up to avoid having to have sweatpants like packed with me you know and then in case we do go swimming um i'm gonna be packing this bathing suit in my carry-on or my personal item and we're also going to be swimming on our break day before we head to disney springs so this is my bathing suit it's from meat curve so what i really like about this is that it has the built-in bra and then it kind of just has like some mesh detailing some crisscrossing so this is what this bathing suit looks like i think this was like 30 
$5. I was worried that the back was gonna be a little bit cheeky, but when I tried this on, it actually did fit me like pretty perfectly. So yeah, this is my bathing suit for the first night if we go swimming. And then for my first night PJs, I'm not gonna be wearing anything cute because honestly, I just wanna be comfortable. So I have this jasmine tea. This is just my go-to PJs. So yeah, this, and then I just have these shorts that were in a set from Marshalls. These are pretty worn. The string is only on one side at this point. But yeah, these are nice and stretchy, you know, typical PJs. So then the next day, which is Sunday, like I said, we have our breakfast reservations at Ohana. So what I have planned for that is this like Hawaiian kind of skirt. So I'll show you this outfit when I'm done talking about it. But I just have this little Hawaiian skirt that I found at a small shop. This was $5, so I was like, I need that for my trip. And I'm just gonna wear this with like a basic white shirt, which I just ordered some off of Amazon. So I'm gonna try those on, see which one I want. I have some cute hair pieces too, but let me just get into the outfit and then we can talk about it. Okay, so here's the first fit. So here is the white tee that I ordered off of Amazon. And I also ordered a second one. I just wanted to be like safe. And unfortunately, neither of them are doing what I wanted them to do. So they were both supposed to have like, built-in cups that are removable, so that way I didn't have to wear a bra with this. But unfortunately, I do have to wear a bra with this, so but it's fine. I don't really think that this is see-through, so I think it's gonna be okay. So yeah, I just have a solid, like, white athletic top, and then the skirt, and then I found this fanny pack on Amazon, and I have this little scrump keychain that I found on Amazon, too. So I'm just going to attach this to my bag with this little tiny scrunchie that Halara sent me with my last order because I spent so much so they sent me some free colorful little mini scrunchies so I feel like this is perfect for this so I'm just wrapping his little arms around kind of tucking the keychain behind and then yeah he looks so cute or she can't remember I think it's a girl but yeah so this is this outfit and then I have these stitch socks which I'm gonna be wearing which I think these are so cute these are from Primark and then I found these little like hair clips on Amazon. So when I get there, I'm gonna pick like a bunch of the ones that like have the colors that are like in my skirt. So there's like orange, blue, like pink, purple. So what I'm gonna do is I'll try to show you like a little bit of my vision. So I'm gonna do my hair and I'll part it down the middle and I'm gonna take like my front, they're not bangs, but like my front pieces and I'm gonna like braid them back. And then throughout the braid, I'm just gonna have like a bunch of these. I look like a child, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a bunch of these like clipped all the way around the back. And then I will probably do like a little half up ponytail and then like stop the clips there. But this will kind of be, I'm sure this looks crazy, but this will kind of be the vision. Let me just put a few on the other side. But yeah, this is kind of like, where we're going with this I might have like a couple tiny little pieces just to frame my face because i never like how i look when my hair is completely out of my face but yeah it's gonna look something like this a very pastel colorful rainbow vibe for pictures with lilo and stitch i feel like they're both gonna go crazy over this little scrump so that's why i wanted to get it because i'm very awkward with character interactions so i feel like if they have something to like point at and interact with it will make me feel more comfortable with them, I guess. I wear these literally everywhere, all day, every day. These are the Bondi SRs, I believe. I don't think that they're the cutest shoe by any means, but these are the most comfortable sneaker I've ever worn. But yeah, I'm probably gonna wear these with those stitched socks. And then that is the full vision for the first breakfast on the first day. And then the next thing that we're doing on the first day is going to Disney Springs. So for Springs, I decided I'm going to keep those clips in my hair because I feel like they match my Little Mermaid tee. So I'm gonna throw this on with some biker shorts. I'm gonna wear, I think, white biker shorts under this skirt because I feel like my black ones are gonna be too long and black is just not the vibe with this. So what I'm gonna do is probably maybe bring my tote bag because we're dropping our bags at the Poly. So I'm not really gonna have access to the backpack that I'll be bringing as my personal item. So I think what I'll have to do is carry this with me as well as the fanny pack. Not really gonna be a great look, but gotta do what we gotta do for our outfit changes. So yeah, I'll probably be bringing my 50th Magic Kingdom Starbucks tote to breakfast and then have this outfit in there. So I'll have my Little Mermaid tee. I'll keep on the same jewelry. I'm gonna have stitch earrings. I don't have like Little Mermaid specific jewelry besides my necklace, so I'll make sure that I pack that and wear that with this. 
keep the little rainbow mickeys in my hair i feel like i should probably change my socks because i'll have the stitch socks on so i'll probably change the socks and then just black biker shorts because i want to be comfortable while we're shopping and yeah so that is it for that and then we go back to the airbnb and then we're all getting into our pjs for a little pj party while Liv does her social media and like posing and marketing and all that kind of stuff like that class let me show you the pjs that i'll be getting into because they are so cute okay so here are my pjs for the slumber party slash pajama party slash class for the first night specifically because i'm sure we'll get pictures but i'm also going to rotate through those other pjs and these i'm just going to bring two pairs because i don't need more than that i will be doing laundry i am obsessed with these i think that these are like probably the cutest pjs i've ever seen these are from amazon i will have everything linked down below that i mentioned in this video if i can find it but these i know i just recently bought off of amazon so i'm sure they're still available but it just has ponzi jasmine bell what else is on here aurora we have some lanterns flowers obviously they're pink so they're so freaking cute they have pockets i'm sorry if the camera goes out of focus it's too far away for me to see but Hopefully it keeps me in focus while I walk backwards. But yeah, I'm so obsessed with these. They're definitely thicker than I would prefer because I'm a very hot sleeper. So I know that I'm going to be sweating in these, but it is what it is. It's okay. If you can get them, I totally would just to have because they are just the cutest. So that is Sunday. And then the next day is Magic Kingdom. So up first for that, we have our princess bound. So I will show you that next. So honestly, this is the outfit that I am most excited for. So I still need to figure out the bra situation. So I'm just gonna kind of hold the dress for now. But I just have my bow from Gingerbread Couture and these princess ears, which I recently got in New York City. So I'm gonna wear them both. I feel like for pictures, when we do frontal pictures, it'll be fine because it'll just be the ears. And then maybe if we do any pictures like from behind, I may take off the ears if it just looks like it's too much. But I really want to have like a full on princess moment because I never have in the parks and I'm definitely a princess girly. So I feel like it's my time to shine now. I'll be wearing these white ruffle socks with my Mickey um, Aldo shoes. So I'll show you those really quick. So these are the shoes from Aldo. They just have Mickey running on the one side and Minnie on the other shoe. They have a bunch of like little hidden Mickey detailing on here too, if I can get it to focus. So there is all the like hidden Mickey detailing on these shoes. I want to appreciate them while they're still clean because I know once I wear them to the parks, they are going to get destroyed. They definitely don't match like 100%, but I really wanted to wear these with a princess look. So that's what I'm doing. So for the midday Magic Kingdom look, I'm going to be wearing this tee that says meet me at Main Street, which is no longer available. So I'm not gonna tell you where it's from. Can't link it or anything like that. I am very excited to wear this. And since Taylor is wearing a bucket hat in this print, I will also be wearing one. So I have this bucket hat, which not really sure how I'm gonna like style it. I feel like this looks weird on me sometimes. I really have to play around with it. Once again, not available. So sorry, can't link it, but you may be able to find something similar on Etsy. So I'm gonna have this look with the Taylor Swift fanny that I'll show you in a second. I feel like putting the shirt on would definitely make my life a little easier, but I just don't want to. So I'm gonna be wearing this fanny probably around my waist because I want you to be able to read what's on my shirt. But this fanny is from Best Day Ever Shop and it just has all of Taylor's albums on there. Please excuse my nails, I'm gonna be doing them tomorrow. And this is gonna work for both of the Taylor looks that I'll be doing on this day. So this is the first one, just with some black biker shorts, the white hokas, some white socks. This is gonna be a comfy outfit that I'm not really planning on getting content in, so. Yeah, this is the midday outfit. So after the comfy midday outfit, we're gonna be doing Halloween photos on Main Street. And I'm so, so excited that I was able to get my hands on this tee from the Lost Bros. It just says, can't breathe whenever you're gone, can't turn back, now I'm haunted. We also have the, I don't know what her name is, but the woman from the Haunted Mansion stretching room where she is, you know, on the tightrope with the alligator about to eat her. This just says, you and I walk a fragile line. It has the Haunted Mansion with the moon and the bats. Like, I'm just so obsessed with this tee. I just think it's so cute. And when I ordered this, they only had a 2X available and I just didn't even care because I wanted the shirt so badly. And I'm actually really glad that I got it in a 2X because when I roll up the sleeves, I feel like this looks like, I don't know, it just has a look to it that I just really like. So I'm currently wearing my beige biker shorts or my beige um, dress shorts that I'm wearing to Animal Kingdom because I'm filming this out of order. So that is the last outfit that I had on but I will be wearing black biker shorts with this. And then with this outfit, I'm going to be wearing my 
same at Taylor Swift Fanny, but then I just have my black bat ears from Gingerbread Couture, which I think are adorable. They're perfect for like a Halloween look. So definitely had to grab these for this outfit. I feel like this oversized look with like just a little bit of the biker shorts gonna be hanging out at the bottom is gonna look so freaking cute. With this outfit, I'm just gonna be wearing the white hokas, typical white socks. Um, I'm not really trying to get photos with like my feet in them. I'm not really sure what Liv has planned for us, but yeah, trying not to get my feet in because I feel like that's not really the vibe, but they're just white sneakers, so it's okay if they are. But this is gonna be one of my favorite fits, I can already tell. So here is the first fit for Hollywood Studios. So I will be wearing my Gingerbread Couture headband. Um, this is the Andy's Clouds scrunchie headband. So this one isn't available anymore, but you can still find this in the top knot headband, I believe. And then I'm doing like a Barbie slash Bo Peep bound because this could really be either one of them because I'm pretty sure they both wear like a hot pink belt with like a blue dress. So I will say this is the outfit I am least looking forward to wearing because my arms are a very, very, very big insecurity for me. I absolutely hate looking at my arms. So I'm gonna just power through because I feel like wearing a bolero or a sweater or anything with this is just not gonna work. So I'm planning on posing like with my arms either behind me or something like this. I just want my arms like back and out of the way. I would like to have like a bag maybe if one of the girls have a bag that I could borrow that will match this look. But yeah, overall it's okay. It's definitely not the best outfit I could have possibly put together, but I really wanted this dress from Hawara and it is the one that kind of like cinches into like a V right around the waistline. And then it has um, built-in shorts as well. So yeah, I hope I can still manage to get cute pics, but I feel like the insecurities are probably gonna take over that day. And then I think with this outfit, I will probably do the Mickey and Minnie shoes because Minnie also has blue in her dress. So I feel like these just go pretty well. And then for my comfy midday outfit in Hollywood Studios, I'm just gonna be wearing my Hollywood 1939 tee. This is from Magical Castle Embroidery. I'm just gonna be wearing my DCA ears because they just match the red and I just feel like this is a fun look. I'm gonna be wearing maybe these if I can be comfortable enough in them for the middle of the day, which probably not. These would look really cute, but I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. And then I'm gonna be wearing these socks because they're just kind of giving like Hollywood to me. So I'll be wearing these with either the white hokas or the Aldo shoes and then the black biker shorts. So once again, very comfy, just need something to be comfortable in, not worry about content or anything like that. And this is very Hollywood Studios-y. So here is my Star Wars look. So we are doing photos somewhere in Galaxy's Edge, I'm not sure where, but as you may or may not know, I am not a Star Wars fan. I've never seen it. So I didn't really know what to do for this look, but I did already have this Grogu fanny. This was the very first fanny pack that I ever got. My mom got this for me for Christmas. And so I really wanted to pull an outfit together with the green from the Grogu and the pink from the bag. So my original intention was to wear my white pixie dust ears. Um, I don't have those out, those are in the closet, but I really wanted to wear those with this. So that's why I got the white bolero. I'm going to have the white hokas. Um, and then the only pop of pink was going to be the bag. I also was looking into a pink bolero, like a light pink, but I could not find one. And I really like this style. So this is just what we're working with. So since the ears didn't quite look right, I'm going to be wearing the pink pixie dust headband. So it's fine. We still have some pixie dust, which I love because it's like stars, you know, for Star Wars. And it also has like the gold, which we have the gold hardware in the fanny. I'm probably going to pull some pieces of hair out, but this green tennis dress is from Hawara. The bolero is from Amazon headband to brick tour. Fanny is stony clover. I don't believe that this is available anymore. And I'll be wearing this with the white hokas. So here's the dress for paddlefish. I'm sure you guys have already seen this on my Instagram. I did my summer photos in this dress. I believe this dress is from Timu, which I no longer support, so I will not have this link down below. But with this dress, I had the vision of a like navy blue kind of puff sleeve, like longer dress. And the ones I was finding on Amazon were just not it for me. I did not have time to like physically shop at all for this trip. So anything that I didn't have, I was ordering off of Amazon. So yeah, didn't find anything that I liked to stick with that category of like that navy blue vibe because I don't know, paddlefish, seafood, I just see like navy blue, like ocean, like that was just like the vision for this fit. And it didn't come to fruition. So 
I decided to just use what was already in my closet. This will be a little bit more form fitting because it ties in the back. Um, no one is here with me right now to be able to tie it for me. So yeah, that is the dress for Paddlefish. I hope it's okay. I feel like all the girls are wearing tight maxi dresses, but honestly, I am just not confident enough with my body to be wearing something form fitting, especially around my stomach. So I wanted something that was gonna have like the puff sleeve and, you know, kind of fit the way that I wanted to, but yeah, I hope that this works. I'll be wearing wedges with this. So these are the wedges that I wore to Hannah's wedding, to my cousin's wedding. I found these at Marshall's for probably like 12 to $15, something like that. Every time I wear these, I get compliments though, and they are relatively comfortable. But yeah, I had to size up a half size for these. So if you do find these at Marshall's, which I'm not sure if you would, because I found these in the spring, but if you do find these, make sure you go up a half a size. So I'm torn between actually quite a few things. So I have, this cindy headband from gingerbread couture which i believe might still be available i feel like the colors are matching so this might be cute i also have this white bow from gingerbread couture which if i do like a half up half down kind of look that might be the vibe i don't think that this like really matches i don't have any gold anywhere in the outfit oh wait there's gold in here i didn't though. get that could you try again no so i didn't think i had any gold in the outfit but apparently i do in this bag so that actually may work in my favor but this is with the bow i didn't like properly part my hair so sorry if it's a mess but this will be the look with the bow with the wedges obviously i will have full glam on and some jewelry not really sure what i'll be wearing yet again not really 100 percent the vibe i was going for but it's okay this is my first outfit for Animal Kingdom for our pictures in front of Tree of Life. So as you guys may or may not know, Dinosaur is my all time favorite Disney ride tied with Guardians. And as we all know, it's being taken away. So I already had this Dino Tea. I actually already have another one too. So I need to make sure that they get their time in the parks before the ride goes away. So I just have on my Almond Pearl ears from the Christmas season last year. This tea is from the Wonder Studio. And then I have on these like beige shorts that I found at Marshall's. And then I have this fanny pack from the Best Day Ever Shop, which this is the Jumbo one. So this just has um, Safari Mickey and Minnie on here. Absolutely love this. This is the Ivory White, I believe it was called, or just Ivory um, on the website. So I think I'm gonna actually wear this around my waist because I want you to be able to see the dinosaur logo. And I feel like fanny packs around the waist in Animal Kingdom just kind of serve. So that is the game plan for the morning time. And I will be wearing my Tevas, so I'll show you those. These are honestly like my Animal Kingdom shoe of choice. For some reason, whenever I go to Jack, these are usually what I'm wearing. These are just Tevas. I'm pretty sure I bought these off of Amazon. These are just like the beige color, so I feel like they're gonna match pretty well. So I'll wear these into the park, get the pictures. And then for my midday outfit, I think I'm just gonna keep this on actually and just wear biker shorts with this. But I do have dinosaur earrings, which I think are gonna look so cute with this outfit. So they just have these little, I don't know the name of this dinosaur, but I found these at Francesca's and they were on sale. So I just had to grab them. I just think they're so cute and obviously I love dinosaur. So I very last minute ordered this outfit. I just wanted to get a shirt off of Etsy that had Spaceship Earth on it because I don't have anything that is specific to Epcot. So my original intention was to wear this headband from Gingerbread Couture with this. And then when I got the shirt, I was like, oh, I don't know if the rainbow is actually working with this. And then I saw that Epcot had all of the Disney 100 decor out. And I was like, oh my gosh, wait, what if I can turn this into a Disney 100 look? And then when I looked closely at the shirt, I noticed that the characters are wearing their Disney 100 outfits, which I didn't even notice when I purchased this. So I was like, perfect i'm gonna wear this with my disney 100 ears because i feel like they're giving spaceship earth i've always thought that so i'm just excited to actually wear this in the parks and it be decorated for the 100th and then i just ordered three different skirts to try with this look to see if i could pull this together so i feel like this skirt matches the best but i don't know what to do with the shirt now because i just hate that the shirt is dark gray i feel like it's just like throwing off the fit i feel like do I tie this maybe? Honestly, if I can find like a Disney 100 specific t-shirt like in World of Disney on our first day, I might just buy that and wear that instead of this. Um, I don't know, how does this look? 
I definitely don't love this. Okay, so I can't really back up that far because I don't have pants on right now because I'm gonna be wearing biker shorts with this. And I know I said I wasn't gonna try on any of the shirts that I'm actually wearing with biker shorts, but I just had to show you like how much of a fail this look turned out to be. So my original plan was to do um, my rainbow pastel sparkly ears with this shirt, this fanny pack. So I bought these really cute shorts from Halara and these ugh, just do not look right with this shirt at all. And then I ordered a bunch of fanny packs off of Best I Ever Shop, which you've already seen, but this is the Remy one that I ordered. And I got this in the regular size, whereas the other ones are jumbos. The other two I absolutely love. I really, really love this shop, honestly. And I also really, really love this fanny. Like, I think that Remy is so cute. I love the pink. You guys know I love supporting small shops, so I do feel really bad to even say, like, anything negative about them. But I just, I have to show you this so that way you can kind of see where I'm coming from. So this is as wide as this fanny pack possibly goes. Um, and let me show you what it looks like on. This is, this is what it looks like. I feel like this looks absolutely ridiculous and my game plan with this was, you know, I thought that this would be loose enough that it would sit like more around my stomach, that way you could read Little Chef. Um, I planned on getting the Remy shoulder pad on the park and, you know, tying it to the bag, but I just had the, you know, vision of it sitting down here, which I guess is my fault for not reading the correct like length on the website. But just wanted to let you guys know, I do still recommend to order from them. I just would never ever buy another one of these sizes because it's just so, so small. So now I have to wear it around my waist, which luckily it does fit. So having this around my waist with the shorts just was not a good look. So now I'm just gonna be wearing solid black biker shorts with this and the ears also just don't really look right. So the whole vision really kind of just fell apart. And honestly, this was the outfit I was really looking forward to because I just had the highest expectations for it. I thought it'd be so cute for food and wine to do a Remy bound. But now I'm gonna be buying the Remy ears in the park. We are riding Remy's Ratatouille adventure like first thing when we get to Epcot. So while we're in France, I'm gonna grab the Remy shoulder pal and the Remy ears to wear with this for my food and wine fit for the evening. But yeah, overall, I'm just really kind of disappointed with how this look turned out, but hopefully the pictures are still good. Honestly, this is gonna be the point in the day where we're just drinking and having fun. We are gonna be doing the photo shoot in one of the pavilions, but we're not really sure which one yet, but hopefully it's in France because obviously I will be dressed for it. But if not, I'm not really that worried about it. But yeah, I just had to show you guys this. It's still so cute, but if you do buy this, make sure that you get a jumbo. Okay, moving on. So this is the very last look for the trip. This is my universal look. According to our itinerary, we only have just Harry Potter photos and I didn't see any scheduled outfit changes so I'm taking it that we're not doing multiple fits for that day which I'm fine with so I have this black tennis dress from Halara I have my Harry Potter fanny which I made so the fanny I ordered off of Amazon and then the head wig patch I also ordered from Amazon I had some fabric glue from when I made Hannah's bachelorette shirt. So I used that glue to glue on Hedwig. I feel like the pigtails are definitely giving Moaning Myrtle. So I'll probably end up braiding my hair, but I did buy ribbon, which I don't really wanna open this right now because, although I guess I could because I don't need to bring this entire roll with me. Honestly, maybe I don't even do a bow. Do I just like tie it once and just let it dangle? I just wanna be kind of colorful just because this outfit is so muted. I'm trying to just make this as fun as I can. I think I'm leaning more towards the bow, um, but the bow being the full length. I'll mess around with that after I'm done filming. But this is it for my hair. And then for jewelry, this is where I'm really kind of going above and beyond with this outfit. So I have these Hermione's wand earrings with the feather, which I believe is like Hedwig's feather. I'm not really sure whose this is supposed to be. And then I have a bunch of Harry Potter bracelets that I bought in a pack off of Amazon. So I'm not really gonna take them all out, but you can see we have the whole Hufflepuff collection. So we have this with just like the H. I have this one with the badger that just has an H and the badger. So that's all gonna be so cute. And then do I have something else for this outfit? Why do I feel like I was going like harder with this outfit? I was gonna do yellow socks too, but the yellow that I ordered just was like a mustard yellow, like a a deep mustard yellow so that one just wasn't gonna work but i'm also wearing my white hokas all day because it's the last day i just know that my body is not gonna be able to handle any kind of shoes that are not my hokas so just solid white shoes for that i also have a lightning bolt necklace which is not really a harry potter necklace but i bought it for that reason my life is a mess if you can't tell but i think that is it for universal so like i said way home i will also be wearing the same shirt that i 
wore down unless I buy, I'm sure I will buy shirts um, that I decide to wear home. If I buy a hoodie, I will probably wear that on the plane. But yeah, that is all that I have for this week's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I spent so much time trying on these outfits. Make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already and tap the bell icon so you're notified when the next trip video comes out. And I will see you guys in my packing video. Bye.